so I'm getting ready for my next uh, video and one of the things that I'm working on for my next video is a glass break sensor and you've seen in some of my other videos that I've talked about these before but this one uh, has to be hardwired to your wall so before I get started on that I want to test it so I need to provide this with 12 volt power and um, I'd like to do it at my workbench while I'm testing it so I have a DC power supply unit for projects like this but uh, what I also have is bags of old chargers that I have saved over the years and um, there's a reason that I've saved it and it's for stuff like this. So if you're throwing electronics out and you work on um, uh, like electronic projects like this, I would recommend saving the chargers because you can use them later for, uh, for stuff like this. And um, so I'll just go ahead and show you how I use it. All right, again, here is the glass break sensor itself. The bottom right is where you're, I'm going to connect the positive and negative connectors from the charger itself. So in my bag here, I've got a 5-volt DC charger. That's not what I need. I've got a 6-volt DC charger. And then finally, I've got a 12-volt uh, charger here. And you can see that this produces 0.6 amps. And that's something you want to pay attention to. And I'll talk about that more in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up. And I'm going to start by cutting off the end of the charger. And you want to save that connector because you can use it for later projects. So next I'm going to go ahead and pull these wires apart. And then I'm going to strip each end of them. And sometimes some of these chargers will say which, uh, which wire is whether it's negative or positive, but I like to test all of them because I want to know for sure. So after I strip them, I go ahead and twist the ends. Um, that's just personal preference. And I'm going to go ahead and get the other side here. And next, to test them just for safety, I'm going to use alligator clips. So I'm going to clip on a black alligator clip to this white and black wire and a red one to just the solid white wire. Next, I'm going to set my multimeter for DC voltage. And I'm going to go ahead and clip in my positive and negative leads. So here you can see that I was getting uh, negative 12.3 volts. So I'm just going to go ahead and switch the alligator clip. So because now I know what the polarity is. So the white wire with the black line in it, that's going to be my positive wire. And now you can see that I'm getting 12.3 volts. Another thing that I like to do once I know what uh, which wire is which, I like to make a red mark on the one that I figure out is the positive. And again, you can see where I need to connect these. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen up the screws, unhook the alligator clips, and I'm going to go ahead and put the positive wire in the positive connector. I'm going to go ahead and tighten the screw. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the negative wire. Go ahead and tighten the screw on that. Next, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the device. You can see the red light comes on. Let me know it works. And just to make sure, I'm going to unplug it and then plug it back in. So now you can see that I have a way to uh, power my glass break sensor while I'm working at my workbench. Just make sure that you're paying attention to the milliamp, the draw on the um, on the device that you're testing. You want to make sure that it has um, that it's not going to pull too much from the charger and you want to make sure the charger is giving it the proper amount of voltage. And this device was needed 12 volts and this charger had 12 volts so it was a good match. Um, so yeah hopefully this was helpful for you and uh, if you have any questions let me just leave a comment down below and let me know. Thanks.